All right, I'm sure you're all familiar with the expression, you win some, you lose some. Well, I'm pretty sure I won that one, but um, I think I pretty well lost this one. Uh, I was able to rotate the motor over, I don't know, two and a half turns or so, or one and a half turn, I, I couldn't tell for sure. And then it just came to a dead stop. And I figure that sludge probably has a large part to play in it. But, uh, try and get the light right here. But the best is yet to come. <clears throat> you guys see that line through the middle? <laughs> Come on. Trying to get the light right. There. Uh, it doesn't really show up as well on camera as it does in real life, but I'm assuming at some point somebody has sleeved this engine and the sleeve failed catastrophically there. Um, also looks like somebody put red RTV sealant around the outer perimeter of this thing. <laughs> Who knows why? At any rate, I, um, I don't know. Unless I really get anxious or really get ambitious, I guess is the word. Oh, I guess you can't see the rust down the... I vacuumed some of the rust out of the exhaust port, but... Unless I get super ambitious, and this is probably going to wind up being parted out, unfortunately. But, oh well, such is life. Cool engine. And a magneto ignition. I don't particularly get along well with magneto ignitions. So, we'll see. I'll dig into it a little bit further yet, but I'm not optimistic at this point in time. So I got a whole bunch of other engines coming in tomorrow that hopefully some of them will be better than this. So I will spend more of my time on them and probably less of my time on this. <laughs>